All right, this is now the quick speed shop. I got on a tool review. I've got the Maddox 10-piece ball joint press from Harbor Freight. I've got to put new ball joints in my 1995 Ford F-250. They're kind of rusty here, so we're going to try this thing out and see if it works right now. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. Okay, let's open this guy up here. Bunch is super cluttered, don't worry about that. Uh, comes in a nice carrying case. Apparently. Look at that, it's a MA-10-1 Harbor Freight. That's where I got it. What do we got in here? Uh -huh. The instructions, it's pretty much a big C-clamp and you get a bunch of press pieces here to press it around. And, I'm gonna take that out, spin it around, put the driver in there. And if you ever use one of these before, they're basically a pretty, uh, pretty much a big uh, C-clamp tool. Use it to press out the uh, ball joints on things. So let's take a look here. What do we got? Just show us how you do it. Install a ball joint. Press the ball joint. U joints. Use it for all kinds of things. Okay. All right. Here we go. We're gonna press the ball joints out of the spindle. As you can see. This goes here, the snap ring, it goes on this here, that needs to be removed, and this will drive down out, and then once the lower ball joint is out of the way, I can put the tool into the knuckle and drive out the upper ball joint. So we're going to do the lower one first. Hopefully this will drive out of here without too much trouble. So I've got to get an adapter that will fit over the ball joint. It's got to be a little bit bigger than that. Kit comes with lots of spacers. Okay, that is going to work there. Let's see. We need a spacer. Okay, this will fit over the over the ball joint. That's good. I'm going to stack these this adapter up onto here. And use it on this. Go over the ball joint, and then we can press into the cup. That's where you need three hands. We'll hang the uh, tool on it like this. Drive right down into the center of the ball joint. Okay, I've got a 7 8 socket. I've got the ratchet here. I'm just going to go ahead and spin this around so it's using this knuckle to hold itself. Okay, I've got a receiving cup. This is kind of high. I'm going to set down to this lower hole so I can get a better, better grip on it here. Okay, we're going to try to drive this ball joint and see what happens here. Oops, don't kick the camera. Press. I'm going to need a bigger ratchet here. Get a cheater bar on here. Watch your fingers. Oh, it just busted free. It's starting to move. I felt that. It's working pretty nice. The receiving cup is taking the taking the ball joint. I can take off my breaker bar. It's driving it out of the knuckle. Or a spindle, I should say. Almost free. Right there. Man, that was awesome. Let's take the tool. I can set the tool in here to get around this with the top adapticator cup here. And we'll press the upper ball joint out the same way. 
Center that up. Whoop. The receiving cup centered up. Center up on the bottom of the ball joint. And roll this around like that. Okay, we're gonna crank here, same thing. Oh, there we go, she just popped. Oh, was in there pretty good too. That's coming right out. Nice. There we go. Upper ball joint has been removed. Fantastic. Move our cup. There's the upper ball joint right there. Came right out perfectly. Okay, we're gonna reinstall the ball joints in the opposite order we took them out because of the way the tool works. So we're gonna be putting the lower ball joint in first. You don't put any uh, oil or nothing on here. You just take it and press it right back in place. So I should be able to start it like that. I gotta get my long cup out. But I need one that pushes on the ball joint itself. I can use this cup. Nope. I can use this cup. We're at the, about the max of our reach on the thread, so I gotta be careful. It'll work. Get in there. Okay, I think I'm driving against myself here. Now I gotta change the uh, change the tools out a little bit. Yeah, because I, I pressed it in flat, so now I got to figure out a short cup to push on. Well, here we go. I got it pressed in all the way. I ended up cutting a piece of exhaust tubing to make a little short spacer, then I had to use a piece of flat stock. And you can see how much pressing that did. It mushed the exhaust tubing, which isn't, you know, none of the stuff's hardened and mushed that flat stock pretty good. But I got the ball joint pressed in the rest of the way. You can do it. You can do it! There we go. Did it. Aha! Ping! It's in there. So lower ball joint's installed. I think we can do this a little bit less uh, monkeying around here. I think I can just use the end of the C-clamp there. And then we'll take our adaptator. We'll put that right on here on the ball joint. Put our tool on. Oops, that's the wrong end. Batting one for a thousand here. There we go. Put our tool on there. There we go. It's pressing in there now. That's it. Yep, that's it. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Ta da. Perfect. All right, we got both ball joints installed on the knuckle here. This thing is. Ready to go back in the truck. What are my impressions of the Maddox 10-piece uh, ball joint press from Harbor Freight? Seen the workout good. Um, a lot of different choices here for adaptators to use on your action. And if you can't find something that works, you can easily uh, make a piece. Where does this go? Somewhere this goes somewhere. Like I said, you can easily make little pieces. I just use a piece of exhaust tubing and it worked for me. Um, and obviously it's not going to do everything. It was a little bit pricey. It was $90 at my local Harbor Freight. But, I mean, if you took your vehicle and had the ball joints put in in the garage, you're looking at six, seven, eight hundred dollars $800, depending on how long the repair takes. And I cleaned up some stuff and painted stuff, so I'm really happy with the, with the tool. Even if I use it this one time, the $90 I spent on it more than makes up the cost of helping me out put the ball joints in my truck. 
and that worked really well so for the little novice uh, one or two use guy at his home garage thing seems to be the hot setup here it worked out good for me and uh, I'm sure that if it broke or something they'd take it back there if I was a main time uh, full-time mechanic I would probably invest in a quality USA made tool that's what I try to do is buy USA stuff at the most point but spending you know several hundred dollars on a ball joint press that I might only use once or twice I really couldn't justify it and I was able to buy this on the shelf at the local store so I made the decision to buy this uh, cheaper tool but it worked out good for what I'm doing here and it'll probably work out good for you so just a little review there on the, the Maddox 10 piece ball joint tool from Harbor Freight so once in a while I do tool reviews here at the Quick Speed Shop. Most of the time I'm building the hot rods and uh, right now I'm building a 70s style boogie van. I work on my 95 F250, do a bunch of other stuff. So if you're interested in that, stop by the channel, check out some other videos. And I appreciate you watching and we'll see you again right here at the Quick Speed Shop.